We're here at the Schoenberg Center for Research and Black Culture, and today, superhero fans of all ages are celebrating the seventh annual Black Comic Book Festival, and it is definitely gonna be marvelous. Let's check it out. Manga, anime, and old school superhero comics featuring black leads were appreciated by comic book fans of all races on 135th Street in Harlem. And with a focus on turning the spotlight on black voices in the comic world, creators from across the country were in attendance for this fantastic event. Championing representation of black people in comics for 20 years, illustrator of Tuskegee Ayers, Marcus Williams, explains the reasoning behind prioritizing black protagonists. I have two children, uh, 13 and 12, um, and I was once a young artist who didn't draw black superheroes because I was brainwashed into drawing what I saw. For my children, I draw and I, I want them to grow up seeing themselves. We also caught up with creator Shauna J. Grant, who made sure black women had a space in the world of manga and anime, who prior to creating her own illustrations found it hard to find women who mirrored her image in comics. Mainstream comics and stuff didn't really have a lot of stories that appealed to me as a young black girl. And at least with anime and manga, there was like more comics like oriented towards girls. So my junior year, I decided, okay, let's change that and actually draw characters that look like me. And from there, I kind of like just made sure that I always like at the forefront, like try to represent, you know, stuff that I would want it when I was younger. And illustrators Robin Smith and Jamila Rouser explained why being independent black artists can be very crucial to staying true to their vision of portraying black women in comics. Places like Kickstarter and Indiegogo, I knew that I could go that route if I wanted to publish a comic versus going through a traditional publisher who may want to change my story, make it more mainstream. We did Wash Day through Kickstarter and it was really successful and I think it just goes to show that black women want this, this content um, or people just want this content out there in comics. And to end the festival with a bang, fans were treated to a special screening of Marvel's new movie, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Reporting for BronxNet, Kevin Aline.